So one of the most powerful things that I've used in almost 30 years of working in the communication business is something that came out of the 1950s by a guy by the name of Dr. Albert Moravian who studied nonverbal communication for his entire career. What he found back then, and it's still more true than ever today, is that when people are communicating their feelings or messages that are rich in meaning, he found that there are three ways in which that meaning is conveyed to the listener. The first is the words we choose to use, which is like sending an email or a text message. The, the funny thing is, is, as much as we use that type of communication, it only represents 7% of the intended message. If we pick up the phone and add the sound of our voice, we add an additional 38% to what the listener actually receives. 7% with the words, 38% of the tone of our voice is only 45% of the intended message, which is less than half. More than half of what people hear is based on what they see, our nonverbal or body language, which is 55% of our intended communication. So if you're finding it tough to connect with people at work, if you're finding it tough to connect with people at home or in your personal life, stop doing things over text or email and get face to face.